Hello, I'm Hannah and today I'm going to tell you something about um, the tag I received from Lieken of a bucket of buttons. She um, started this episode called uh, Sewing Coffee. So I'm really excited to be tagged and to join in on this uh, new uh, video type of post. Um, English is not so uh, my mother tongue, so I will probably make some mistakes. Uh, my mother tongue is Flemish, which is a variation of Dutch. It's spoken in Belgium, in the Flemish part of Belgium. Um, so, but because I write here in Flanglish, which is Flemish English, I will also try to do this post in uh, Flemish English. So I'm um, here in my sewing space, and today I want to show you what's in my a uh, little drawer that comes with the sewing machine I bought. Now I have a Bernina, which is a 350PA and I really like it. It's brand spanking new at the moment. But there's one big thing that's different between a Bernina and um, the previous sewing machine I had, which is a Singer Quantum 9940, something like that, which came with a huge drawer. And this one, well, I'll show you so you can see for yourself. This one actually, it comes without a drawer, which is perfectly fine for me because I can easily manipulate it. And also it comes with um, this board, which I can add this one. Ooh, that's all the other stuff. This one, and I can simply hover over it and then adapt it, which is amazing because then it will um, the fabric will stay on the board and it won't pull as much. So that's something I really like. And then what's in my sewing drawer? Well, I don't really have one, but the Bernina machine comes with a lot of fancy pants stuff. Um, it comes with this huge cover. And what's in the cover? Basically the cover is the drawer, which is quite handy because when you need to put the cover on the machine to protect it from dust when you're not using it, but also, um, which is really good, is that you have the different compartments and a lot of space. Because usually in the little drawer, everything gets crammed up. So what's here? In the back there is uh, uh, the manual, the instruction manual, which is really good. Um, <laughs> um, and then you have all the instructions and it's spiral bound, so it works really well. Then we have, <laughs> I still keep it, I don't know why actually the accessories which is a list of all the food and equipment that you can buy but since it's bernina it will usually cost you half a body part and then um, my bernina also came with this magic stuff which is the walking foot and the quilting equipment now so i don't quilt myself but uh, the walking foot that's truly amazing when you need to like so stretch fabric or difficult fabric and you don't want it to get all messed up like bias tape on an edge that's really good uh, actually i use my walking foot that much that i have it no longer in this box because this box is like eh, to open and then you have to remove all this and all this and i go crazy by the time and i have it in a separate box with all my sewing machine needles and the extra stuff for my overlocker and here is also my walking foot this one and there's also the 35 blind zip foot i don't know if you can see it like this which is absolutely if you have a bernina and you're sewing without one you should really 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 consider buying it even though it's really expensive it's like have magic. I really hate it to put in blind zip, but this one is like perfection. Then what else is in there? Oh yeah, the Bernina, it comes with this accessory bag. <coughs> it's quite funny because the only thing I already put in there is like the, my button whole foot, which is with a magnetic stuff and a sensor and I cannot really get it, but works like a charm. I'm so happy with this one. And then you should put all the other feet in there as well. But of course I didn't because I'm lazy like that. When you buy the machine, it comes with these two plastic drawstring bags. And one of them has a lot of stuff, which is like a little brush, which I use and I should clean it 
after I use it. Ooh, Hannah, you're disgusting. And then a screwdriver and extra needles, universal needles, 70 to 90, which I should put with the other needles, because why keep them apart? And then it comes with this guide when you need to quilt a little bit or make huge seam allowances. This is also really good. And it comes with these little things to put when you have a smaller bobbin um, spool of thread and you over have a bigger one you can switch them up and then there's this piece and they're to use when you are like sewing really thick seams with a lot of seam allowances you can use them to not have your machine go like <coughs> after the seam allowance and then there's another screwdriver type which Reminds me an awful lot of IKEA. And then there's two more bobbin things which you can use on the other bobbins holders. So I'm going to put everything back so I don't lose anything. Which also something was also quite funny, I think, is that um, Bernina, when you buy a Bernina, it comes with an unpicker, you know, to unpick the threads. We call it Decouvite, which is from French. Uh, the other bag, the other drawstring bag, yeah, I keep them like this, it comes with oil, which I really, really need to do again, because I need to do it like once a week, because I sew that much. And then um, it comes with five spools, the bobbins, like this, and they're like the higher ones, they're different than the other ones, so it's a bummer, because my previous machine had the low ones, and I can't use them in my new machine, so I have like 20 bobbins useless. So, and I should put them with the other one so they don't get tangled, but I like it like this. And then there's a lot of feet. So it came with the normal feet and then there's this one, which I can't remember what's for, but I think it's buttons or something. And then there's this one, which looks quite familiar. I don't know what it's for. And then there's a zipper foot, which gets like used all the time. It's the number four in Bernina. And then there's the um, blind hem foot, which I also use for edge stitching, because it's a maze balls. Um, is it a blind hem foot or is it edge stitch foot? I don't know, actually. I don't know. It's number five, which is amazing. And then something really nifty I found out, you know. I wanted to do a rolled hem. Um, the Bernina does not come with a rolled hem foot. And foot for Bernina machines are like 50 euros, which is an awful lot when you're like starting out your business and everything. So I tried and the snap-on foot of this machine, which is different than the other foot, it has a snap-on foot and um, it fits my singer feet, so from my previous machine. So now I have like way more foot, feet to put on my machine and they work like a charm. I don't know if I'm breaking it like this, so I wouldn't try it at home, but for me it works. So I use the rolled hem foot uh, for my singer machine on that one. Something else, yeah. So here is also all the stitches on this little card. There are also all the stitches that you can do, and you can also do a lot more like letters and embroidery and everything. But I usually, yeah, I don't usually use those. And then I think that's it, yeah, that's it. I want to thank you for um, watching this post, and I also want to thank Liga for organizing this tag. And the person I would like to tag next time are Emily from Belgium Seams. And uh, well, that's yeah. Let's annoy Anneke from Anne Tiret and ask her what's in her sewing drawer. So, see you next time. Enjoy your day. And thanks for listening. Bye.